Okay, I'm going to have a little play. I want some sort of um, lightish colour because um, I want to do some shells and I quite like this colour here. I'm not sure whether these are... I've got antique linen. I mean, these are different when you put them on paper anyway. And this pumice stone, which I actually... Well, it's okay, but with, maybe with a bit of tea staining after, maybe all right. So I've got that. I've actually got a bit of old paper. Sometimes that can look a bit blue, but oh, I'm just I'm going to literally play with the colours and picket fence. If it doesn't work for this, then it might come in for something else later on. Okay, so this is watercolour paper. Um, I'll just do it on here today. That's all right. I'm not going to. Um, and I'll pick up, I've got a book, I've got a dictionary here ready to pick up any waste, which is here. So, and then I'll put that up there in case I need it. Um, yeah, right, let's just go for it. So I'm going to spray it with water. I'm just going to have a play today. Let's, which one have not tried? I haven't tried any of these. This one anyway. Pomestone stone or, oh, I know antique linen have so oh that's my gosh yes i think that's going to work that is definitely um the color i wanted because sometimes they're a little bit different to how they are in there so right anyway if this goes wrong with this one we know to use that because that is just perfect oh, i better what did i yeah. didn't shake any of Naughty me. Oh, that's okay too. Yeah, that's cool. Maybe a tiny little bit of green. Because it could be stuck to the bottom of the ocean. There's a bit of green. That stuff on it that grows on it. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but it's slimy. <laughs> Right, okay. I think we got enough on there. Did I put any white on? I didn't. Um, what's this? All oh, spray stain. So I think the actual thing's gone on this one. Oh, and I don't think. I definitely got the sandy colour I wanted. That was brilliant, that colour. So that was the pumice stone. Perfect. Okay. Right. And um, water. Okay, I'm going to spray another piece now. Yeah. Okay, and then pick up. This is not watercolour paper, sorry. I use mixed media paper. Okay. A bit much water on there, so I'll just soak that up in that one. And that's the water side there. Okay. Thing. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. Okay, that side's great. That side needs a bit more work. But same as here. Okay, there's my pumice stone. That is such a nice colour. see what I'm doing there. Right, if I run the tissue over that now, okay, that will pick a lot up. It will fade, but... Oops. 
I think I might pick up too much because I'm actually really liking it. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm going to keep it on. And a bit of green. And then a bit of water. Let it do its thing. And then I'm going to dry it. It's not 100% dry yet, but I thought I'd get on with the other couple. I was there, and that's lovely. So, I think I was spot on there. <laughs> yep, so I've got one started. Yep. Okay. Which is looking absolutely brilliant. I might dry that. Okay, let's dry that a bit. Right, so I need some more on here. So I'm going to spray that on. Pumice stone first. Okay, bit of, I didn't use, did I use the anti glue? I can't remember, but it's great. It's perfect. Bit of white. And then a bit of old paper because that's got a green and a blue tinge to it, which is fantastic. Okay, like that. A bit more water to activate everything. Okay. And shall we? Let's pick up a little bit on this one. It's one I really like, but. Can pick up some of this on there for an added layer. Yeah, that's great. Leave that one now and pick up a bit of that. stone a bit of water okay and dry that off right, they're not 100 percent dry yet that was the second one i done that was the first this one I definitely prefer. Perfect. I just absolutely love it. But they're both excellent. They're blending lovely. Okay, but this one, a little bit more. So perhaps I use a bit more of the green on that one. No idea. Okay, but they're both great. I don't need any more. I'm not going to have that many shells. <laughs> so that's it. So I'll let you know again the colours. Pumice, pumice stone. Used a bit of antique linen, a bit of white, but you saw me do that, or a picket fence, I should say, and a bit of old paper. And that worked brilliantly. So as soon as they're dry, I'll stamp them and I'll cut out some shells. I just want them dotted around in places. These are on quite, you know, thick card because I, I don't know whether I want them as dangles. and I don't know yet, but I just want to cut some shells out. So we we'll go on with that after I've had my lunch. <laughs> right, so I'm going to use Archival Ink. I'm going to use a Cobalt Blue one, I think. I'll just see what it's like. If I don't like it, I'll just go and get, I'll get black. And that one's a new one, so i use that one. Just make sure that's well in there. Might as well do them all together.
Okay. I might have got enough there, I think. I might use one for a tag and then I'll just cut some of the other ones out. Where's my hairdressing ones? <laughs> Ex hairdressing. Oh, let's pick a bit for a card. Hmm. It's alright, I've got two of those together. I don't really want that. Make sure I can cut them out. Right, I quite like that as well. So I'll go ahead and um, sorry, <laughs> I'm getting distracted. <laughs> I'm just thinking I, I most probably do something with that now. What I might do is that, and then stitch around it, and then we'll put put a shell in there that's you know embossed, heat embossed, and I think that'll look quite nice simple tag but i think it'll look all right so i shall go ahead and cut some of these out and then i'll get back to you right so that was them all cut out and i put vintage beeswax over the top clear and heat emboss them okay so they're looking great so they'll be dotted around somewhere in the journal and i must probably you know color the backs a bit well, it depends. If I use them to embellish, then I don't, I don't need to. So I'll do that when we come to it. Um, then I've done one of those. Oh, whose idea was to <laughs> put them in the kit? <laughs> they are lovely, mine, but, oh, cutting them out. <laughs> I'm like, really? I just, oh, I, I'm, I didn't do it perfectly, but they look absolutely brilliantly embossed. Really pleased when <laughs> they turned out. There we go. Because I can't see, that's it, I have to, over here, because of the bracket that I've got on the iPad is right in the middle, and I'm sort of in the middle there, and I can't actually see when I'm showing, but it's brilliant for focusing this iPad, I will say. Right, so yeah, I've done one of them. <laughs> I couldn't be bothered to cut the other one out and all the seaweed i did cut I actually did cut the seat one bit of seaweed out <laughs> <That bit. laughs> but i didn't heat emboss it though uh, it looked it looks all right without um yes yeah, so i used that what else did i do oh while i was doing a bit of heat embossing i um first off i done used the stamp again and i used versamark with clear yeah versamark sorry and heat emboss that because I thought it would act, act as a resist, uh, adding some ink to those, so I might add some of that. And then I've done white, so you know whether that hopefully that doesn't pick up the ink. And then I've done some bubbles, and I just saw oh, and a seahorse. I've done a seahorse on what was left there, and a seahorse there. So I thought I'd colour these in my next project. So let's just see what happens. And I've got that nice bit there too, haven't I? So, and then I've got, which you saw me do, this here. I've put um, a little topper on there and I thought I'd put that there. I need to ink around that though. And then we'll put some net on it and just make a tag out of that. I do feel that I need some sparkle though, so I might actually 
put some glitter on the back just to give it a bit of a lift really so I'm just gonna use the two-way glue and just dot a bit around and add a little bit of twinkle <laughs> I'm quite looking forward to using the inks on the other, other bit, see what happens. It's a bit there, I think. And there. I think that's right. Okay. I use Glamour Dust because it's one of the sort of sparkliest ones. All left over from my card making days still. I used to buy loads of this stuff. Hopefully that'll just pick up in areas. Oops, I dropped a bit. Put that back, can we? Okay, I'm okay with that now. Right, I need to ink around this here because I'm going to put that one on the top. Okay. So, are we having it over or underneath? Over, I think. So, what I'll do, I'll glue that down now. So I just anchor that because I will stitch around. Sort of there, I think. I'll come down a bit more. And I think I've got a bit of that over there. I actually feel like I want to use silver around that, which so I'm going. I'm go, I've got some silver thread. I haven't got much left, but I've got a bit. So I'm going to use silver, I think, to stitch around. I 
give that another lift. Okay, I'll go ahead and do that and I'll come back. Okay, that one's all done. I put one of the dangles that I've made recently and that is actually a cultivated pearl on there, a real one. And that's that. And the videos, if you want to see how I made the dangles, are all be in the description box. I think it's, um, I, I usually <clears throat> put most of my play, not most of them, but uh, the, the main ones of, um, you know, like the dangle video, junk in the trunk, um, try it Tuesday. I do a lot of different things as well. So I've linked them all down below. <clears throat> and this one was a try it Tuesday, but it's also in the Mo Moena playlist. All right, so oh, and I put that up there just on a tiny bit of um, the foam stuff, but I squished it down because I don't want it that that thick. A little bit of glue, hot glue is usually quite good. Oh, and a little bit of washi tape there. This felt was a little bit boring on that corner. I don't know why, but just tore a bit off that and just put that there. So. I think it was to do, I don't know, to do bring with this colour in. I'm not sure, but I needed to do it. And then just put some fibres and tore a bit of the net off and put that in, in with that as well. Just to, so it all blends in together. Okay, that's a little tag made out of just stamping the background. I mean, I've still got all these. I just felt as though um, I didn't want one of these because of the similar shape to what's going on. Because there's a lot of that in the card so i felt as though it wasn't right so these will be better with a different background if you know what i mean not the same thing uh, yeah okay hope you like that one i'm gonna get on next and do these ones and have some fun with some inks hopefully it resists if not we shall work with it <laughs> okay well, I'll see you in the next video, I think. I'm not sure. I'll see how long this one was. And then, because sometimes I'll cut bits out, you know, that's not significant, really. And then, if it's short, I'll put the other one on the end. Okay. Okay, let's have a little play then. I've got um, all sorts out here. I've got um, old paper and shabby shutters. I'm not sure whether I use all these. I've got the picket fence bit of white and then I've got these are the neutrals antique linen and pomace stone okay and then I've got the salvage patina peacock feathers I haven't got the what's it mermaid one um broken china I got some of these lindies and or and the other the oxide spray of the salvage patina as well and I've got some of that dark blue so I just see see what happens i'm going to do these first this is the one i've done heat embossed with versamark so clear and that's uh done with white okay these are my sort of practice ones to see whether i like the color and that sort of thing yeah so i'm going to use a bit of this it's um not antique linen it's pumice stone i really like that with the sandy color so i'm gonna Put a bit of that on. Um, distress stain. I don't need to shake that really. That's going to resist great, so that's brilliant. Um, what next? A bit of peacock feathers. Might be, yeah, that's sort of greeny blue, which that's good for depth. And then broken china should be quite light. Is that outside? So I need to shake that one. And okay, quite a mixture. All right, I'm not worried about that. And okay, I'm gonna do that, and that's gonna resist beautifully. So that's cool. And we do that. And I need a bit of paper. What have I got here? Some of that. Let's pick some of that up. Okay, that's the first layer, just to see if I like the tone of what's going on, and I do. So that's great. So I'm going to dry that, 
and then I'm going to add a bit more and then make some water droplets and that sort of thing. Yeah, we don't want to get that too hot because it'll bleed like it did there. You see, it starts to swell up and it'll go dead flat, but I don't mind for this sort of thing. Okay, but I'm, I'm really liking that one. And that's cool. So, yep, so I'm, I'm happy with the colours, definitely. So now I'm going to use this bit, this bit and dip in, yeah, to get some different colours. So it's not totally dry or anything, but that's all right. Um, let's have a look. Let's have not the peacock feathers, broken china. Okay, salvage patina. So I'm going to put a bit of that there, and then over this side, I'm going to use a bit of pumice stone. Now, a bit of water. Uh, it's mixing with what was already there. So just to, oh, might have to go a bit. To, oh no, no, that's all right. I'm just thinking I might have to have a little bit more of that. Right, and here where I'll just take that away there, that drip. But I don't want that. Okay. Wanted a bit darker there, and then okay. Yeah, like that. Okay, now with this other bit, I shall put them there to dry. Get the other ones because I'm very happy with the colours and stuff. I mean, you're best if you don't use the heat gun for this, but. To be honest, um, I'm just doing it because of time. Okay, and let's get some of that and that. comes a nice colour with that pumice stone as well, mixed. Okay, just running out of stuff, but that's all right. Might as well pick it up on here. Oops. <laughs> okay, what was that? So this is the spray stain. So. I'll put some of that on. Yeah, I like that. Right, all the other 
this dry enough? Not really. Do I'll just sprinkle a little bit of water now in that one. See if we can get some water marks. Okay. Yes, you can, and you can see that. Again, get some watermarks. Oops. Do its magic. Okay, something like that. Okay. Let's see if I can give this a quick blast. You know, I'm really happy with them. This one, I just started to spread the embossing stuff there. It got a bit too warm, but the rest is okay. But that's all right. That's pretty good. So I haven't over dried these at all. Um, I might, uh, do you know what? I'm actually really liking them as they are. I'm going to finish these. I like the white in, that's kept in there. No, I shall get them dry. And that one's fine. I'm stopping because I really like them. Okay, I'm going to go and get them dry. And then I'm going to do a little bit on this tea towel, this here. Right, sorry about the store, folks. Um, what, they're all dry now and they are looking brilliant so the, the white embossing powder was better than the versamark okay that but it might have been because i put too much heat on that these are all perfect I'm very happy with that and i thought that actually might look nice on there okay with some of course a decoration but i'm gonna just try and get a little bit of um with my stencil see if i can get some out of in these little areas here i quite fancy that i hope it'll work sometimes it doesn't unless there's gesso underneath but um i'm gonna wet this a little bit more so it's an old it's a bit dry this one but it'll reactivate what's in them let's see if we can i'm trying it on this one first Okay, I'm going to work on this one a little bit. With these, it's only watercolours a day. It's just that they're right by the side of me and I don't have to get up and get any of the others. <laughs> so these are quite concentrated, so I don't want that much. I'm really liking the way it's looking at the moment, but I'm going to make it look um, 
Let me see what's going to happen. <laughs> okay, that's quite still quite dark. It doesn't, you know, it's the same colour, isn't it? So, we do need to add a bit of depth to it. I definitely need to do a mermaid stamp, so... I've got loads of mermaid, mermaids in the journaling cards though, but seem to be doing more work with um, seahorses. Yep, he's standing out really nice now. Okay. Yep, and I'll do the same with the other one as well. I'm not sure what this is going to be yet, so I'll go ahead and do that. Exactly the same sort of thing, put a bit, a bit of blue and a bit of green in. Right, so they're all dry. Okay, and I'm going to make a tag out of this one. Okay, or, you know, journaling card. Um, yeah, I'm going to centralise that. Okay, now if my phone, if my iPad dies, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and, this is, um, you know, one of these things cut up. Um, I don't know which way, it's that way. There you go. And that's going to go there. Then I'm going to have some seaweed around here. So what I'm going to do first, okay, is stick that down, okay, and then stitch around in silver. Okay, and then hopefully I've got enough battery left to show you what I'm going to do down the bottom here. All right. And I'll show you a tag my friend made, um, Tina. So um, I'll post her a link to her YouTube because she gave me a tag recently and it was absolutely beautiful of seahorse. And, you know, so I will actually I'll show you now just in case my, my battery does die. Okay, and this will give me the idea to do some of this. This is out of the J cloths, you know, these ones j cloths the uh, wet wipes that we use and so she's done that and she's got little images of seahorses absolutely beautiful yeah so and then she's done all this work along here Be absolutely lovely all right let's see if I can get a bit closer in case you can't see absolutely lovely there we go Okay, so that gave me the idea to do something. It's not going to be the same as this. I'm not going to build it up so much as this because, again, this has got to go into a journal and that's quite three-dimensional at the bottom there. So I need to do something along that lines but flatter. And, yeah, I'm going to sort of use bits of this for seaweed and some net and that sort of thing. But I'm going to put that there. So I just fancy a little bit of sparkle. <laughs> Well, I'll go and stitch around it anyway, and then I'll come back and we'll do the seaweed bit. Okay, that's all done. All right, let's get this done first. Hopefully I've got enough. So 
something like that and I tore off the edge first and then just do that and then you can sort of shape them a bit actually that's quite nice so if it's thicker down the bottom we put that one in yeah I think that's about right actually There you go. Sorry, my husband keeps pressing his phone, ringing me. <laughs> so, so I'm going to stitch that on now. I'll cut this off. There. Like that. And then stitch over that. I've got silver in there, so silver it's going to be. Put a little bit of glue under that one. Okay, if I do this, they're all come apart. You know that, don't you? <laughs> all for one of them. <laughs> okay. That silver side showing. Right, okay. I think I've done it. I'm going to glue that and then I'm going to stitch over it a couple of times. I think we'll be all right. Right, I'm going to stitch on that now. 